For problem number one, it says the Metropolis Zoo recently celebrated the birth of two new baby pandas. Mochi the panda has been measured and weighed each week since she was born, and it's shown in the table. Mochi's brother Kappa, his weight has been charted on the graph below. So Kappa is the graph. Now, we need to find the rate of change, initial value, and the equation for both Mochi and Kappa, and then we can compare all of the information. So, to find the rate of change, that's letter M for Mochi, we're going to see how much we're changing by. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. On the other side, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 4 is 13. When finding a rate of change, we set up our fraction, the change in y over the change in x, 4 over 1. 4 divided by 1 is 4. So Moji's rate of change is 4. 4 pounds each week. For Mochi's initial value, we're going to look at 0. 0 is paired with 1. Mochi weighed 1 pound at birth. We use all of that information to write our equation. y equals 4x, because m and x always go together plus b at the end, plus 1. Now for kappa, for his points, for the graph, we want to pick out the points that we can read clearly. Uh, I can read this point clearly here at 2 and 8, and this point clearly here at 4, and uh, that would be 14 because it's in between uh, 12 and 16. So we have to go up one, two, three squares, but notice our numbers. We're going up from eight to 14. Remember, we're counting by twos, so that's two, four, six. We're going up six. And then going across the bottom, we are jumping giant squares. That's one, two to three is one, and three to four is two. So we're jumping from a change in y to a change in x, six over two. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 is kappa's rate of change. For kappa's initial value, we're looking at where the graph starts. The graph starts here between 0 and 4, which would put us at 2. Using those two pieces of information, we write our equation in slope-intercept form, y equals 3x plus 2. Now, when it comes to comparing them, we can look at the rates of change and the initial values. So question number one, which panda was heavier when it was born? So when it was born, that's the beginning. So we're looking at our initial values for that first question. Mochi was one pound, Kappa was two pounds, Kappa was larger. For question two, which panda is growing faster? That would be the rate of change. Mochi weighs four pounds each week. Kappa is growing by three pounds each week. So Mochi is gaining more. And the last question, which panda will weigh more at five weeks? So for this problem, we're gonna take both equations, starting with Mochi. Our equation that we wrote, y equals four x plus one. And we're going to plug in the value 5 weeks. So 4 times our value 5 weeks, and then the plus 1 at the end. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. We do the same thing for kappa. Plugging in his equation, y equals 3x plus 2. But plugging in our value 5, 5 weeks. 3 plus 5 is going to give us 15. 15 plus 2 is going to give us 17. So Mochi is going to be larger after 5 weeks at 21 pounds as compared to Kappa after 5 weeks at 17 pounds. For number 2, it says two contestants on The Biggest Loser are Valerie and Oscar. Their weight loss progress is shown below. 
For Valerie's weight loss is shown in this function where W is her weight in pounds and T is the time in weeks. Now, even though this equation is written differently, we can still compare it to our general equation, Y equals MX plus B. So the M and X value are always together. So that would be the negative 2.5. Valerie is losing two and a half pounds per week. The initial value is her starting point. She started at 235 pounds. We can use those two pieces of information to write the equation that we're more familiar with. Y equals negative 2.5X plus 235. For Oscar, to find his rate of change, we want to see what we're changing by. 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. Do not freak out that the numbers are changing. That's okay. Across the bottom, 247 to 243 is down 4. 243 to 237 is down 6, 237 to 235 is down 2. We set up our fraction as the change in y over the change in x, pairing up the numbers. So we can pair up the negative 4 and the positive 2. Uh, negative 4 divided by 2 would give us negative 2. We can pair up the middle numbers, negative 6 divided by 3. Negative 6 divided by 3 is also negative 2. Or we can pair up the last numbers, negative 2 over 1. Negative 2 divided by 1 is negative 2. All of those rates of changes are the same. She is losing 2 pounds per week. Now her initial value is her starting point. He started at 247 pounds because that's what's paired up with 0. Use those two pieces of information to make your equation y equals negative 2x plus 247. To answer our questions, we're going to compare all of that information. Question number one, who weighed more at the beginning of the show? Because we're talking about the beginning, that's the starting point, that's letter B. Valerie weighed 235, Oscar weighed 247, so Oscar weighed more. Question two, who is losing weight faster? That is our rate of change, who's losing more weight? Valerie is losing two and a half pounds. Oscar's only losing two pounds. Valerie is losing more. For number three, it says Mr. Rich recently planted a crop of money trees in his garden. The first tree was five inches tall when planted. It has grown four inches every month since being planted. So for this problem, we're gonna pick out our pieces of information. It says the tree was five inches tall and when it was planted. That's in the beginning, and it's growing four inches every month. Keyword being every. We can use that information to write our equation, y equals 4x, because it's four inches per month, and then the plus five at the end, because that's how tall it was in the beginning. So we use those pieces of information to figure out the rate of change. M and X always go together, so that's going to be the 4. And the plus B goes at the end, so that's going to be the 5. For tree B, it says measurements were taken of the second tree and given below. So we have the table. For the table, to find the rate of change, we want to, see, we want to count each side, what we're changing by. 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. Again, it is okay that the numbers are changing. Across the bottom, 3 plus 9 is 12. 12 plus 4.5 is 16.5. 16.5 plus 9 is 25.5. To find the rate of change, we set it up as a fraction, the change in y over the change in x. Pairing up our numbers, we can pair up 9 over 2. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. We can also pair up the middle numbers, 4.5 and 1. 4.5 divided by 1 is 4.5. Our rate of change is 4.5 for the second tree, meaning it is growing 4.5 inches each month.
to find our initial value, we want to start at zero. This tree is starting at three, meaning it was three inches tall when it was planted. Use those two pieces of information to write our equation, y equals 4.5x plus 3. For the last one, the graph, it's tree C. We are going to look at the points that we can read clearly. I'm going to start with my point here at 17, and I'm going to go to this point here at 31. So we set it up as our change of y over the change in x, the rise over the run. To go from 17 to 31, we have to go up 14. And we're going 14 over the span of one, two, three, four weeks. 14 divided by four. Four can go into 14 three times, uh, which would get us 12. That gets us close to 14. And we have a remainder. And so if we continue to solve that, we end up at about 3.5, two left over, two fourths is one half. So it's 3.5 inches each month. That is our rate of change for the third tree. The initial value is where the graph starts. The graph starts down here at 10, so it was 10 inches when it was planted. We use those pieces of information to write our equation, y equals 3.5x plus 10. So now we can look at our questions and compare all of our answers. Question number one, which tree is growing the fastest? Growing is the rate of change. So tree one is four inches, tree two is 4.5 inches, three tree, is, tree three is 3.5 inches. So the second tree is growing fastest at 4.5. Question two, which tree was the tallest when it was first planted? That would be in the beginning. That's our initial value. Tree one is five inches. Tree two is three inches. Tree three is 10 inches. So the third tree is the tallest at 10 inches. The last question, it says, which tree is the tallest after six months? So we have to solve each problem. So for the first tree, we're going to use our equation y equals 4x plus 5, but we're going to plug in our number 6 months. So we're going to do 4 times our 6 value and then plus 5. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 5 is going to give us an answer of 29. For the second tree, we're using the equation y equals 4.5x plus 3. But again, plugging in our value for x, which is 6, 6 months. When we solve that, 4.5 times 6 is going to give us 27. 27 plus 3 is going to give us 30. And for the last tree, we're going to plug in our value for 3.5. We plug in our value of 6 months with our plus 10 at the end. 3.5 times 6 is going to give us 21, plus the 10 is going to give us 31. So that third tree is still largest after 6 months because it's 31 inches tall as compared to tree 1 at 29 inches and the second tree at 30 inches. For number 4, it says Tony is the best pizza delivery man in the city. He has been offered jobs by all the best pizza places. So the first one, Bombino's Pizza, is offering $56 a shift and $2.50 in commission for each pizza delivered. So his rate of change is going to be the $2.50 per pizza. And his initial value is going to be his $56. He gets $56 first for coming to work, and then he gets more money depending on how many pizzas he sells. We use those two pieces of information to write our equation, y equals 250x plus 56. For the second pizza place, Little Squeezers, we want to set up our rate of change. 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10. Again, do not freak out that the numbers are changing. Going across the bottom, 48 to 54 is plus 6, 54 to 60 is plus 6, 60 to 78 is plus 18. 
we set up our rate of change as a fraction, the change in y over the change in x. We can pair up the 6 and the 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we have a rate of change of 3. It also works if we set up the 18 over the 6, because 18 divided by 6 is also 3. So he gets $3 per pizza at Little Squeezers. His initial value comes from zero. He gets $48 for coming to work. Using those pieces of information, we write our equation y equals 3x plus 48. For pizza tent, which is the third option, it says pizza tent has given Tony his pay options in the following function. S represents Tony's salary and P represents the number of pizza he delivers. We can compare that to our general equation, y equals mx plus b. m and x always go together, so that's the 275. He gets 275 per pizza. And our initial value is the plus b at the end. That's the 52. He gets $52 for coming into work, and then he can make 275 extra per pizza that he sells. The last pizza option is Papa Ron's, who made their offer in the form of a graph. So when we have a graph, we're going to do our change in y over our change in x. And so we want to pick out two of our points that we can read clearly. Uh, some of our points that we can read clearly are going to be the 64 there in the middle, and the 72 that's further down. So to go from 64 to 72, remember we're not just counting squares, we're actually going the distance. So 64 to 72 would be up 8. And across the bottom, we're going from 2 pizzas to 6 pizzas. 2 pizzas to 6 pizzas is going up 4 pizzas. So our rise over our run, our y over x, would be 8 over 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. He gets $2 per pizza. The initial value comes from where the graph starts, and the graph starts at 60. He gets $60 for coming into work and $2 per pizza. Use those two pieces of information to write your equation, y equals 2x plus 60. Once you solve each of those problems, then you can compare all of the information. Question one, which company pays the best per shift? That's the initial value. When he's coming into work, who pays the most? And that would be Papa Ron's at $60. For the second question, it asks which company pays the most per pizza? So when you're selling pizzas, you want to work at Little Squeezers because they sell $3 per pizza. The last question says, which company should Tony work for if he delivers 20 pizzas? So we're going to solve each problem. For the first one, our equation of y equals 250x plus 56, we're going to plug in our value of 20 pizzas into the equation. So 250 times the 20 pizzas is going to give us 50 plus the $56 he makes for coming into work is going to give us $106. For number two, we plug in the next equation, y equals 3x plus 48. But we're plugging in our value of 20 pizzas into the equation. 3 times 20 is going to get us 60. 60 plus 48 is going to give us $108. For pizza tent, we can plug in our value to the 275 and then the 20 pizzas. 275 times 20 is going to get us 55. 55 plus the $52 per shift is going to give us $107. 
And the last one for Papa Ron's, we plug in two times the 20 pizzas plus the $60 per shift. Two times 20 is 40. 40 plus the $60 gets us $100. So looking at that, which one would he make the most money at? The most money is going to be $108 at Little Squeezers.